Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the Shadow Knight Paladin, and we are continuing failed tober, failed inktober. Uh, yeah, it's super failed since as of recording it's December 2, which is probably today when you see it uploaded since I don't wanna push this to tomorrow. But yeah, we're on day 25, the theme is ship, and what topic should I talk about today? I'm not really much of a... I don't really talk a lot on topics and stuff. I mean, as you've noticed in my videos, I tend to focus more on the process and techniques and what is going through my mind when I was drawing it, but hmm, since I decided that these will be more talking videos, I need to find something to talk about, huh? Hmm, okay, let's talk about inspiration, I guess, and themes, I guess, and motivation. Let's see where I go by the end of 10 minutes. So, usually, how do you find inspiration? I actually wanted to talk about this topic quite for quite a while now, and there are a lot of videos already on this on YouTube, like a lot of artists already went through this, but here are like some of my own personal sources and inspirations when I just want to draw something but I can't find anything to draw. So let's go with that. So usually, I draw a lot of inspiration from music. Uh, as you know, I like anime and I have a lot of soundtracks and stuff from those animes in my computer and I just listen to them sometimes randomly. And sometimes I actually do get sources of inspiration from it. In fact, even if you're like me who listens to anime music pretty much all the time, sometimes moving away from it and then like going to Spotify and listening to what's trendy nowadays, it gives me a lot of ideas, especially like um, for example, uh, I hear like a really poppy beat that's like, that same Nicki Minaj, I guess, I guess, and I'd suddenly think like, oh, what would happen? What would, what would it look like if one of my characters was dancing to that tune? And sometimes from there, I just jump off that and start drawing. So number one, music is actually a really good source of inspiration. Um, number two would be like shower thoughts, I guess. Um, sometimes I just, when I'm taking a bath, I let my mind wander and when I come out, I have a good drawing idea. So if you're feeling stuck or closed in or anything, take a bath. I, I feel like it really does, so it resets your mind and it lets you just pause away from the world unless your bathroom is somehow very open. <laughs> I doubt there's anything like that. but. Usually, bathrooms are very closed, away from the world, and it's just you, your thoughts, and the water. So, yeah, it gives you some space to think. So take a bath every now and then if you feel stuck. For me, also since I commute a lot, going to work, and I just commute in general, sometimes just looking out the window, sort of in an incognito way, watching people, gives me a lot of ideas as well. Um, sometimes they're not even related to what I'm seeing outside. Sometimes it's just very random and just letting, just watching the world in general, sometimes they give me, they give me like color ideas, they sometimes give me design ideas since if you don't know, I'm a graphic designer by trade. So sometimes it's like watching seeing the other ads on the road or seeing the ads plastered all over buildings and stuff like that. They give me like some form of ideas, and I think it also gives me some drawing ideas occasionally when if that's what I'm looking for. So even if you're in a car or if you could if you commute, just watch outside. Um, actually, quite often I find myself just putting my phone down and just like watching outside in general, and that gives me some space to think as well, and some time and space to generate drawing ideas. And I guess the next way, the last way would be through pops like this. Inktober was a very good example of having really good themes or you could take any word and make it a theme to be honest but um, Inktober is a good exercise on idea generation. Uh, usually, especially when you're a younger artist, I did this a lot when I was young to be honest. I would just take the theme literally and draw it from that and sometimes it would feel very restrictive Especially when you're trying to work on it by theme, as in like you're really trying to follow the theme every day. Every day. It feels like 
tedious and exhausting. And I still find myself doing that occasionally, especially for this particular Inktober. I didn't take too much artistic liberty. But I would suggest to take the theme and for an art to let your mind wander. Uh, for example, with this particular one, Day 26, the theme was squeak. So the first idea that came into my head was like a person sneaking around and something squeaks. Now that would be cute as a comic, but um, I didn't really want to draw that, to be honest. There was no motivation for me to draw that. So I just kept on thinking, what squeaks in the night for some reason? So a mouse, I guess. And then from that, I also thought, I don't really want to draw a mouse or a rat. I'm not into that, so I ended up drawing a mouse girl. And I ended up designing this really cute, like, somewhat futuristic-looking outfit. And she looks like this announcer or hostess or something. Like, it's super cute. I do like how she turned out. And yeah, that's pretty much how ideas generate sometimes. So in general, just give yourself space to think. Or just let your mind wander safely. Don't do it while you're walking or anything. That's dumb. When you're walking around outside, be alert. But if you're like in a particularly safe vehicle, like, I don't know, your car. <laughs> or, because um, the bus that I take going to work is very safe. Uh, it doesn't stop at all. It's like point to point. It's called a P2P bus. It's a point to point bus. So, the people that you ride with are also the people that you end up getting on and getting off with so generally it's very safe so it's during those kinds of rides that I just watch outside especially at night when now that it's about it's nearing Christmas and there's Christmas lights everywhere it gives a really good point to jump off of like trying to think of things um, most people would use this time to maybe sort out their life but for me I just end up thinking about Oh, what could I draw? Oh, that's a pretty, pretty really good um, color scheme. I might want to draw with something like that. So, uh, it'd be good if you have like a notebook or we have we all have phones nowadays. So, like have a note memo or note on your phone to write down your ideas. I used to have a notebook that I used to bring with me, but usually I just end up not writing it down. But if you're the type who quickly forgets ideas, like have a notebook, write it down quickly. Like, be it small, like, the type that could fit almost in your hand type of notebook. And just write it down. And honestly, for me, um, it's, it's really helpful. It lets you have this stock of ideas. And when you just want to draw sometimes, just, like, flip through that notebook. And you'd see an idea and, like, ah, that, that is a good idea. That is a cool idea. Let's do that again. Or let's, let's go ahead and draw that. To be honest, I have so many ideas here in this notebook of mine that... Um, usually, it's just a matter of developing it first mentally, and it's a matter of finding time on top of the other things that I do want to draw, so when you're lost or you don't know what to draw, just like flip through your notebook and you'd see something. That's actually one of the better ideas that I've learned throughout the years. Um, actually, some people even suggest, like I watch some old videos saying that have a notebook at your bedside because like sometimes that space between you falling asleep and you actually being asleep is a good time to like think of ideas and you should write it down. I tried that once or twice so I just end up falling asleep before I think of anything. But the idea is if you still remember when you wake up, write it down right away. Because like yeah, it's the last thing you remembered before going to sleep so ideally you still remember it when you wake up or some Something like that. So, I just kind of tabled on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt. And even subscribe to my channel. I usually do anime art, fan art, drawing, watercolor. Yeah, I'll see you around.